Beirut is changing rapidly. After a bitter civil war that left behind countless scars, locals and tourists alike can once again enjoy the city. Customers constantly mill in and out of Sohev Sayon's snack bar. Here, falafel is the snack of choice. It's a staple in food joints across the Middle East. This place uh, was established in maybe 1933 uh, when uh, my grandfather was uh, the first one who uh, made uh, the falafel business in Lebanon. Uh, and then uh, came my father, uh, and now I'm the third generation. Making falafel requires large amounts of hot oil and chickpeas. Since the morning we start preparing it, so it might take about uh, three to four hours to prepare everything. The chickpeas are crushed and seasoned with parsley, coriander, garlic, spring onions, salt, pepper, cumin, and cayenne pepper. Then everything is rolled into little balls and deep fried until it's crispy. In Beirut, falafel is served with fresh lettuce, herbs, finely sliced radishes, and tomatoes. And finally, tarator is added. It's a thick sauce made of yogurt, garlic, cucumbers, and nuts. Just fold it over, and it's ready to eat. All Lebanese people love this food. We could eat it from morning to night. Most of the customers here are manual workers. They're people who do physical labor, like the kind of work you do at construction sites. Chickpeas give your body strength and energy. So if you're feeling sluggish, head to Beirut.